With Aam Aadmi Party's concerted push for Gujarat in 2022, the state has deviated from a traditionally bipolar contest to now what looks like a fierce triangular battle between BJP, Aam Aadmi Party and Congress. AAP seems to have set the agenda, having announced a raft of pre-poll promises. So is BJP nervous? Yes. Is BJP ready to take any kind of political risk? Absolutely no. Is BJP trying to contain AAP? Well, at least the optics say so. So how are the poll dynamics stacked up in Gujarat vis-a-vis -vis AAP's political entry? Let's find out. Delhi Chief Minister and Aam Aadmi Party convener Arvind Kejriwal has anchored his entire campaign around a slew of promises. 300 units of electricity per month, free education in government schools, unemployment dole, 1,000 rupees allowance to women and monthly stipend to new lawyers, among others. In fact, Kejriwal has been making at least one new guarantee to voters every time he visits Gujarat. I spoke to a few leaders of Aam Aadmi Party who said that apart from the announcement of the freebies by Kejriwal, the AAP volunteers on the ground are working over time to distribute guarantee cards to the voters, promising them that these announcements will be made into a reality. In fact, the same sources said that AAP volunteers have put up kiosks across villages and cities of Gujarat, noting down the names and phone numbers of the voters along with the names of the schemes on a proper counterfoil. Aam Aadmi Party volunteers uh, are going door to door in Gujarat. They are engaging with the different subgroups of people, be it auto rickshaw drivers or <coughs> panjayat members. Since they are interacting with them, people feel some kind of participation in the Aam Aadmi Party's Delhi model of governance. I'm told that one crore guarantee cards have been distributed to the voters already. And who knows, it could be a game changer as its ripple effects are already being felt. Prime Minister's office has decided to distribute 50 lakh Aishman cards to the voters. But Aam Aadmi Party seems to have walked away with this advantage. I never said that there was not no, there was no issues, but we worked on that issues. Because of that, we are not overconfident, but we, uh, we are confident enough that we will get again the blessings of Gujarati people in 2022 as well. We do have competition, but we have competition with ourselves only. Despite a phenomenal vote share, BJP's seat share has been declining. In 2002, BJP won 127 seats and a vote share of 49.85%. In 2007, BJP won 117 seats with a vote share of 49.12%. In 2012, BJP won 115 seats with a vote share of 47.85%. And in 2017, BJP won 99 out of 182 seats and a vote share of 49.05%. Kejriwal has amplified his election campaign on social media unlike BJP and Congress. He talks about the Delhi model of governance, mixes it with Hindutva and this narrative has made Aam Aadmi Party a formidable challenger to BJP. What we can see that Congress was uh, into the opposition party, but Congress was not able to raise the problems of the public uh, in front of the government. That is what people are saying. And due to that, they have got some another option uh, with the name of Aam Aadmi Party. So people are believing them. Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi, Manish Sisodia, has been aggressively marketing the Delhi education model and has made this into one of the major election planks for Gujarat. A day after he was grilled by CBI regarding the excise scam case, he launched a scathing attack on BJP for the poor upkeep of schools in Gujarat. In fact, he said that if Aam Aadmi Party forms a government in Gujarat, he will build top-class schools every four kilometers across eight major cities of Gujarat. Many in Gujarat feel that Aam Aadmi Party and BJP complement each other politically and that they are fighting a friendly match. But the way the things are evolving on the ground, this is being dismissed as a mere conspiracy theory. There were one rumor out there that uh, Aam Aadmi Party is going to cut the votes of Congress only. But now it is being the two-sided sword that uh, it could cut 70% votes of Congress and might be or maybe it could cut the 30% votes of BJP too. 
so i mean uh, bjp's votes are also you know going to cut by amadmi party so that kind of buzz is definitely out there with election commission not having announced the dates of gujarat along with himachal there is a strong perception that bjp will announce more schemes will inaugurate more projects Congress has seen many leaders either shifting to Aam Aadmi Party or BJP. In fact, the grand old party has been working silently on door-to-door -door campaigns and has already announced that it will give freebies on par with Aam Aadmi Party. But will this silent action of Congress translate into votes is anybody's guess. So the big questions now with a clear triangular fight can Aam Aadmi Party really dent the vote share and the seat share of congress and bjp will the voters of gujarat buy the delhi model of governance and abandon narendra modi completely well that's a tough one but we'll have to wait and see all said and done aam aadmi party is a debutant in gujarat it has surely created a buzz but can it unseat bjp and congress is a million dollar question whatever possibilities emerge lots will depend on the selection of candidates and who the cm face will be but surely gujarat polls this year is a litmus test for bjp and more significantly brand modi as well send us your feedback stay tuned to deccan herald and thanks for watching